All right, what is up guys? So in this video, I'm going to create a MVP SaaS in less than 10 minutes to show that it's not luck. Let me explain my entire thought process. Essentially, I'm going to pick an idea that is already validated using Exploding Insights. So I'm going to pick an idea, then I'm going to build the concept with React and for knowledge, I have zero experience with React, so this should be fun. And then I'm going to um, show the working prototype that you can actually use to sell. This is not pre-recorded and it's going to be fully live. So let's get right into the first step. And before that, I just want to mention that if you didn't learn programming in college and this is like your first time coding, I think right now is the best time to actually build SAS because it's so easy to build it with AI, which I'm going to prove in this video. Yeah, I just wanted to get that out of the way where even if you don't know coding, I still think it's easiest that it's ever been. So <clears throat> basically in Exploring Insights, you can find a bunch of ideas. I've already searched through the idea list and I thought this one was pretty good because a lot of my friends run iOS apps and they complain about this problem. So basically, I'm in the iOS Displays Insights. So in Exploring Insights, you, you can search for anything. So I just searched for iOS Displays. And the problem that they always complain about is they want nice UIs for their apps, but it takes so much time. So let me explain what that is. So on iOS Store, when you upload an app, you have to create these little cards. You might make 10 cards for your app and each one might take five minutes, right? So it's like really time consuming, especially if you have 10 cards. So what they're doing right now is they're paying for this manual service. The service is charging $15 all the way up to $150 and they've already made $30,000. So this service is validated and you can see that one screen is $15 and the top screen is 275. That is the pain point. Let's get right to it. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to copy and paste this into a new Claude window. As of July 20th, make sure you have selected Claude 3.5. This is the best model to, to use right now. So just copy this and give me a static working that solves this pain point and suggest ways where I can paywall a certain sub section of the app. Let me explain the prompts. Basically, I pasted the idea plus the pain point. So that's all from Exploring Insights where this is the idea and this is the pain point that this idea is solving. Then I'm giving it the prompt to generate a working React app that solves the pain point. You, you, you can also make it aesthetic that solves this pain point and suggests ways for you to add a paywall. So this is important. If you want to monetize this app, you want to gatekeep a certain part of the app, right? So you, you can make it freemium where 80% of the app is free, but then 20% is paywalled. What you'll notice on Claude is that it'll give you the actual preview and the code. Here, I'm not actually sure this does anything. Okay, it does. It's making this little screenshot. Okay, so there's a button that makes it locked, unlocked. So I actually don't think this is solving the problem. So sometimes you have to clarify to the AI that the response it gave wasn't good enough. We actually are creating iOS pictures we can upload to the app store. This is required. It takes a lot of time to make these manually. So we are trying to automate it with this app. Whenever you give it more context, it's always better. And also if you tell it like the reason why you're um, giving this command, generally it'll be more understanding and craft the um, code to be a bit better. That's like a quick prompt tip. So it's making the code right now. So what you will notice is that it's giving me a totally new front end based off of the prompt I gave it. So that's pretty good. Here's the code. I think it's under 100 lines of code, so it's not too long. And if we look at the app itself, I guess this is a title. Yeah, title and there's like a bunch of different iOS versions. So if you want for iPhone 8, you can press this. iPhone 14, you can press this. And you can change the color. That's pretty cool. And you can click generate screenshot and this should create a screenshot of the image. I think one feature that we need probably is the ability for us to add our own image. So you can just clarify that. 
All right, <clears throat> I want to upload my own image of my app and have the image position in the screenshot and allow me to position the image as well. So click on this and hopefully it'll generate a new app where it allows us to actually add like the image of our app. So you'll notice that a lot of these screenshots, it has the actual app in the screenshot, which makes it better for the user because they get a preview of the app. So let's see what Claude gives us. Yeah, so it has this upload image button now. Let's see if this actually works. So let me upload this. And yeah, the image is in the screenshot and we can move it here, there, and like up, down, whatever. So this is a working prototype. Obviously the next steps for this is that you would host this React app on Vercel or a different hosting platform. But you can see that we got a working prototype within five minutes. So if you spent like hours on this, you can definitely 10 X the quality of this. That just shows you how easy it is to first find an idea on exploring insights that is making money. Then you create the app on Claude of a working prototype. And then three, you can like market it by making videos on YouTube, TikTok, posting on Twitter, Reddit, and you can prototype probably one idea a day just from this, right? I don't know any React and I was able to make this app. So it's stupid easy right now. So yeah, that's the video. I'll probably make more videos of this where I go through the Exploring Insights database and just make fun apps that are already making money. Let me know if, if, if you guys like these videos and these are the three steps and hopefully you guys found it useful. Check out Exploring Insights if you want. If not, just do the research manually. You don't actually need this tool to do, do your research, but hope you guys enjoyed and catch you guys later.